Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and good try tips and this video I would like to talk about how to fix the Windows 11 installation fail error code that is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up so let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about if you're using any accessories which means any external accessories like mouses, keyboard, SSD, everything should be unplugged from your system. This is what you have to do as the first and foremost step. Just unplug all the external accessories, including mouse, keyboard, SSD, etc. on a Windows 11 and you have to check. Next one is all about you have to install Rufus on your device and you have to check. So just go to this particular link which I'll be providing in the video description and you have to go over here download this portable version which is around 1.6 MB. You have to click on this one and download and install this particular version of Rufus on your device. So once it's successfully downloaded, you just need to go over here. You can find the Rufus from here. So let me copy and paste it on the desktop. Now once afterwards, just go over here and you have to install the Rufus and I'm going to demonstrate you some of the steps that can be done. First, you have to go over here. Now they're going to ask you some, do you want to allow Rufus to check for applications updates online? So this is an important step. You have to go for yes. Right now, if you only select S, you will be having the options to select it or else you will not be having options to select this. This will be grayed out. So make sure one thing. So the first one, if you're already having the windows, just do one thing. Just go over here, set this to download. And from here, what we need to do is set this to ISO. If you are having ISO, just set this to ISO. And once afterwards, you have to go over here and go for ready and you have to check with it. If you don't have the files, this is what you have to do. There are a few things that you have to be in take care of it. There are a few things like which I'm going to demonstrate you. So if you don't have the device, you have to go over here and you need to select the Windows installation, uh, Windows 11 installation from the device. And once you add it, we have to make few things. So one among them is all about over here in the partition scheme, you'll be having the options over here, over here in the partition scheme. So you'll be having many options. So set the image partition over here should be selected into standard windows installation you have to expand this right now this is actually grayed out grayed out for me so just expand this and select uh, standard windows installation and once afterwards you have to go over here and you have to expand this now they're going to ask you the size over here for few things like you have to give the size whether you are on the partition should be selected whether you are on gpt or mbr which means whether you are on e UEFI or whether you are on lagging. So this is what you have to do. So whether you are on the legend versions, so you can do that. Just go over here, search for the run command and press enter. This time we need to type MS info, just type 32 and press enter. That's going to take you to this. So from here, I understood that my BIOS board is UEFI. So sometimes the BIOS mo mode can be changed into legendary so if it is legendary you have to select mbr if it's not that if it is this uefi you have to select from here the partition scheme should be selected as gpt then you have to go over here and try installing this one and most probably the windows 11 can be done from here and will not be having the issue this is what you have to do and i hope this video is helpful that's it bye bye